Have you ever heard of John D. Rockefeller? He wasn't just one of the wealthiest figures in history due to his oil industry success, but also known for his frugal and careful money management. His savings and investing habits not only sustained his wealth long term, but also allowed him to leave a lasting legacy through philanthropy. His story highlights the importance of not only accumulating wealth over time, but also managing it wisely and adopting a lifestyle that supports long term financial stability. Let's discuss this a little more, shall we? Because it can be so much fun to spend money, but managing it can be quite a task. Hi, my name is Varun Dugirala and welcome to Finance Flashback brought to you by ICICI Prudential Mutual Fund. Over the course of the next few episodes, I'll be telling you about the timelessness of finance by seeking out examples through history and finding out how they can help us plan our finances better in the present. In today's episode, we'll uncover the ways in which our current lifestyle and the decisions we make shape the financial landscape of tomorrow. Even though it might seem like we're living in the era where we are most prone to making affluent lifestyle choices and the exhibition of it is everywhere we see, you will soon notice from our historical examples that this has been the case for as long as we can remember. Let's take a look at the connections between lifestyle choices and financial outcomes through stories from the past. In our first story, let's explore the Vijayanagara Empire, which thrived from the 14th to the 17th century in the lush Deccan Plateau of Southern India. This empire was a testament to grandeur, prosperity and cultural richness. It stood as a beacon of economic vitality and architectural splendor. Spread across vast expanses, the empire featured bustling marketplaces, opulent palaces and awe-inspiring temples. Merchants and royalty alike traded in precious gemstones, silks and fragrances from distant lands like Persia and China. The hinterlands flourished with thriving agricultural communities with extensive rice paddies irrigated by a sophisticated system of canals and tanks. The empire's strategic investments in infrastructure, including religious and cultural monuments, not only enriched its cultural tapestry, but also contributed to economic prosperity. The empire's leaders recognized the importance of cultural and religious monuments, attracting pilgrims and tourists, which in turn fostered trade and economic growth. In a similar vein, our choices today can significantly impact our financial future. Just as the empire invested strategically in cultural and religious infrastructure, individuals can consider investing in their skills, education and well-being. These personal investments serve as the cultural and intellectual infrastructure that can attract opportunities contribute to professional growth and enhance earning potential. Moreover, the notion of diversification applies not only to economic activities, but also to our income streams and investments. The Vijayanagara Empire's diverse economic activities from trade to agriculture showcase the resilience that comes with variety. Similarly, individuals can aim to diversify their income sources and investments, including avenues such as mutual funds. To build a more robust financial foundation, the potential of withstanding economic fluctuations. Investing in mutual funds, for example, provides a convenient and diversified way to participate in the financial markets. It allows individuals to pool their money along with other investors and gain exposure to a professionally managed portfolio of stocks, bonds or other securities. This diversification helps mitigate risks and enhances the potential for long-term growth. In a sense, the story of the Vijayanagara Empire teaches us that strategic investments in our personal and professional development, coupled with diversification, can shape a more prosperous and resilient financial future. But what are the pitfalls, you ask? The Mughal Empire might have answers. Spanning from the early 16th to the mid-18th century, this empire witnessed an era of remarkable cultural fusion and architectural wonders. Agra's skyline showcased the breathtaking Taj Mahal, a symbol of Emperor Shah Jahan's enduring love for his queen Mumtaz Mahal. Agra Fort, another architectural masterpiece, spoke of the might and grandeur of the Mughal dynasty. The streets bustled with merchants and traders, and the markets offered an array of silks, spices and jewels, 
painting a picture of a thriving kingdom. Despite the Mughal Empire's success, Emperor Akbar faced challenges in sustaining Fatehpur Sikri, a city he established near Agra, serving as the empire's capital for a short but significant period of 15 years. Water scarcity and logistical issues prompted Akbar to move the capital to Lahore, leaving Fatehpur Sikri abandoned. You see, Fatehpur Sikri's financial dependence on the salt trade limited its revenue sources. Mismanagement, including water scarcity, impacted its sustainability. The city's decline left an architectural treasure underutilized in terms of tourism potential. Perhaps by promoting economic diversity, encouraging tourism, ensuring efficient administration and fostering strategic alliances, Fatehpur Sikri could have potentially sustained its financial viability and historical significance. This historical story emphasizes the importance of avoiding reliance on a single income source or investment in our present financial lives. It highlights the need for diversification, both in terms of income streams and investments to ensure financial resilience. When things aren't going as planned, it's important to take a step back and look at where we're going wrong. We could cut back on our expenses or try to find a new revenue stream. Being adaptable and making strategic adjustments has the potential to prevent financial decline. Safeguarding our finances is crucial, especially during times of prosperity. Our next story is a great example of this. Raja Ravi Verma. Ring a bell? He was a renowned Indian painter and artist in the 19th century, often regarded as one of the greatest painters in the history of Indian art. Despite achieving fame and success for his remarkable contributions to art, Ravi Verma's financial decisions in his later years tell a cautionary tale. Born into royalty in the princely state of Travancore, which is present-day Kerala, he enjoyed affluence during the peak of his career, with national and international acclaim. However, his penchant for a lavish European-style lifestyle and extravagant tastes left him grappling with financial strain. Ravi Verma's primary income, derived from his art, suffered due to a lack of diversification in his financial portfolio. In drawing a lesson from this historical example, the narrative unfolds an opportunity to reshape one's financial approach in the present. Instead of succumbing to lavish spending habits, you can channel your resources into prudent financial practices. Consider investing your money wisely, diversifying income streams and embracing financial instruments like mutual funds through a systematic investment plan or SIP. This option lets you invest a fixed amount at regular intervals in a mutual fund scheme. By opting for SIP in mutual funds, you may gain control over spending tendencies while unlocking the potential for your money to grow through the power of compounding. This disciplined approach not only aims to safeguard you against financial difficulties, but also lays the foundation for a stable future. Learning from history, Raja Ravi Verma's tale encourages us to make informed financial decisions, promoting sustainable wealth creation and ensuring a comfortable lifestyle in the long run. Now, our last story is a recent one that you and I have witnessed the effect of. The information technology boom of the 1990s and 2000s. The technological boom serves as an impactful illustration of how lifestyle changes can shape the financial landscape. The surge in software services and outsourcing not only created well-paying jobs, but also triggered shifts in spending habits, housing preferences and leisure activities. This transformative period became a major contributor to India's GDP, attracting foreign investment and fostering economic prosperity particularly in urban areas like Bangalore, Hyderabad and Pune, emerging as global IT hubs. The IT boom's influence extended beyond economic dimensions, profoundly impacting the lifestyle and work dynamics of individuals. IT professionals witnessed improved living standards, increased purchasing power and a higher quality of life contributing to the expansion of India's middle class. The adoption of concepts like flexible work hours and remote work not only enhanced work-life balance, but also reflected the evolving nature of employment. The lesson drawn from this emphasizes the dynamic relationship between lifestyle choices and financial outcomes. Adapting to evolving industries, embracing technological advancements, and aligning one's skills with market demands can lead to increased financial stability 
and improved quality of life. The IT boom showcases how being attuned to changing trends and technological shifts can contribute to long-term financial success. In the present context, individuals can easily start their investments online, leveraging platforms that allow them to check their investment portfolios and making adjustments as needed. This accessibility aligns with the IT boom's legacy of technological advancements, emphasizing the importance of staying informed proactive and adaptable in managing one's financial journey. Moreover, numerous online resources offer valuable insights into managing finances better, providing individuals with the tools and knowledge to make informed investment decisions and enhance their financial well-being. As we conclude this historical financial journey, one lesson echoes through the corridors of time. Your financial destiny is often shaped by the lifestyle choices you make. So invest wisely, spend consciously, and remember, financial freedom can be your ultimate luxury. That's it for today's episode of Finance Flashback brought to you by ICICI Prudential Mutual Fund. We hope this episode helps you navigate your life choices better for a more prosperous future. This is Varun signing off. Till next time. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.